Abayta Yehudi, the Jewish home party, was supposed to unite the national camp together, but with a Mafdal, national uh, religious party, heavy list, and the new party chief, Professor Daniel Hershkovitz, receiving an award from a pro-Arab group, cracks began to appear. And now Moledet has officially broken off to join Dr. Aryeh Eldad's Hatikva party. Shalom to Uri Bank, a leader in Moledet. Shalom. So what are the reactions in the Moledet party to the final list of the Jewish Home Party? We're actually kind of shocked that the council that put together this list would violate so blatantly all the agreements that had been agreed upon beforehand between the three founding parties, Moledet, Mafdal, and Tkuma. Uh, those agreements included having at least two secular Jews in the first ten seats, which is very important to my party, Moledet, which was always a combination of secular and Orthodox Jews. They also promised that there would be two women on the first ten spots, and that's also something that was violated. They promised the general public that they would have a say in the makeup of the list and primaries for the chairmanship of the list. They canceled those primaries, and the on online election that they did have in order to set up the rest of the list was totally ignored. We know for a fact that only two council members actually saw the outcome of the list. One of the outcomes of that list was that our chairman, Benny Alone, came out number one on the online, online vote, and they later on decided not to give him a realistic spot. Now, Uri, one of the main ideas of the list was getting new names in. Now, part of that would be, of course, having current Knesset members taken out of the list. And so, was this a surprise at all? It's not at all a surprise, and we're actually happy, and we also pushed that there should be at least four new, uh, new names on this list. But we, it was always evident and obvious to us that part of the agreement was that the three founding parties, again, Mafdal, Moledet, and Tkuma, would all have at least one representative. It's outrageous that they decided to give the NRP, the Mafdal, two reigning MKs, Zvulon Orlev and Isan Slomyansky, and yet they found no place at all on the list for any kind of Moledet representative, our current MK or any other representative of ours. Or you're close to uh, Rabbi Benny Elon, uh, the Knesset member who has announced that he's retiring from uh, politics. Why is he not part of the attempts to get Moledet into a better position? Why did he retire? Rabbi Benny Elon has decided to retire from politics and therefore he is allowing me, the next in line, to head the negotiations with what will become with the party in the future. Rabbi Benny Elon has made a great contribution to Israeli politics. He, in effect, is on the right wing, the ideological right wing, the one statesman we actually have with a vision and a plan for peace in the Middle East that counters Oslo and I am sure that he's going to continue working on his Israeli initiative outside of the parliament uh, and allow the Moledet party to try to fight for its representation in the Knesset while he does bigger and, 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 and larger things on the larger scale even outside of Israel and in the international community. And we hear that Danny Dayan, Yesha council leader, offered Elon his position on the list. Uh, I have not heard that rumor, uh, and I think it would be a grave mistake for Dafka Danny Dayan, the only secular Jew that they decided to put on the list, again, after they promised to put two secular Jews at Moledet's uh, request, um, it would be a mistake for him to give up his position. It's very important to have a person like that on the list. Um, and even if he were to give up his position, he's slated as number eight, uh, the Moledet representative, the only person coming from one of the founding parties, is not supposed to be in the number eight spot. Moledet would demand at least the number six spot for its representative before Nisan Slomyansky, who is the number, who is the second NRP representative to be on that list. So if Moledet's going to be a part of this, it definitely has to come before any of the other founding parties getting their second representative. So what are the plans of the Moledet party now? The Moledet party has decided to pull out of the Bayt Yehudi list. Uh, it's actually not pulling out because we, again, weren't given any spot on that list whatsoever. And we're joining forces with Hatikva, uh, headed by Ariel Eldad. We'll be running in the number two spot on that list, hoping that the Tkuma party will also realize that the Bayt Yehudi list has become too left-wing and there's not enough orange representation on that list. And they will also drop out and we will start the new Ichud Lumi party uh, up again with Tkuma and Ariel Eldad and Moledet. And what are you hearing regarding other factions of the National Union, the Ichud Lumi? Um, I, I just uh, said it before, the Tkuma party is now heavily considering leaving the Bayi Jihudi list. 
even though Uri Ariel now ranks number three on that list, he realizes that he is kind of the only hawkish, right-wing, strong Eretz Yisrael representation on that list, and all the rest of them are a weaker, dovish, even left-wing tendencies of the, of the old Mafdal, and the Kumar party doesn't want to be considered um, as such. So hopefully they will drop out. F.E.A. Tom will also give his blessing to, um, to this new uh, renewal of the National Union if Tkuma uh, does drop out, and I'm hoping that that's gonna, the news we're going to hear tomorrow. Well, when you see what's going on, don't you think maybe unity at this point might be more important than other issues? Unity is very important to us, and Moledet was always the first, person, the first party to push behind all the unities that we've had since 1999. Uh, starting back with Rechavam Zevi and Benny Alon pulling together with Benny Begin and, um, and Hanan Porat to start the original National Union. Later on, the Moledet Party with Benny Alon was the people that pushed to unite with uh, Avigdor Lieberman in 2003, and then once again with the NRP in 2006. It has been very important, and we've, we've sacrificed a lot for it over the years. Now it seems like it's impossible because this list doesn't represent our ideology anymore. And the Moledet Party and its ideology has been around for 20 years, ever since 1988. It's imperative that it be represented in the next Knesset. Uh, we are debating if Rav Volpa and Baruch Marzel's group would be somebody who could be represented on this joint list, which is now includes Hatikvan Moledet. Hopefully from tomorrow will also include Tkuma. We're looking into that. Um, that's definitely something that we would like to see them send a representative to us and then not have them run as a separate entity representing basically the same values and ideology. I can't say that it's a done deal, but it's definitely something that we're trying to get done. Uri Bank of Moledet, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.